Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is draw debug capsule? We'll run through our quick little example. I'll hit play, and well, we have a capsule being drawn around our player. And it's a debug version of the capsule, so of course no collision, and it'll be the settings I want. So let's go ahead and look at the node itself. The node's really simple. Here's our default values right here, and here's the current values I'm using. So it's gonna take in a center. The center is basically where this capsule is gonna be drawn from. Then we have a half height and a radius. One thing that's nice and convenient is our player has a capsule around it. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing the information from my player, grabbing his capsule component, and then taking that information and put it into our world. So the half height is basically the half height of the capsule. If you want the capsule to be 100 units high, then it's going to be 50 for the half height. Radius is how far around it is. You can technically make a sphere out of this, but a capsule is meant to be more long than it is wide. Rotation is the rotation of the capsule. Obviously, if we want it rotated, we can put in a value. Like, for example, I put a value of 45 in here, and now you'll see my capsule is rotated. Line color is pretty simple, the color we want the line to be. Duration is how long it will persist on the screen for. Zero means one frame. In this case, since we're feeding this into our event tick, it's going to redraw itself every frame. Now if I want it drawn just once, for example, I could hook it up to my, my begin play, put in a duration other than zero and hit play, and now you'll see the capsule drawn at the size I want, the color, and the other settings where I want it. Thickness is the line thickness. By default, you're going to have 0 and 1. Those are roughly the same. And of course, the bigger the number, the thicker it will be for your lines. So we go to 10 and have something giant like that. And that's it. That is our draw debug capsule. It's intended to put a capsule on the screen using the debug system. Remember, debug items cannot have collisions. They're just there for visual help. And we're going to just put where it's at basically how big it is, any rotation, a color, how long we want it on the screen, and how thick we want it to be.